Hey guys, you know, as we're stuck here in this crazy time, having to stay at home, one thing I like to do is, is try to get my mind to a good place, a positive place. And for me, that is almost always Las Vegas. And for two reasons. Of course, I love the casinos and everything about Vegas, but I also love to hike. And Vegas is a hot spot right centrally located to some great, great hikes. So we're going to talk about that. And I've got five books that I want to talk about that'll help you on planning that trip. everyone is safe right now it is a tough time we're having to stay at home uh, we're not used to that Americans are using you know we're always out and about and trying to get stuff done but you know it's a serious time and I just want anyone to know that if you've been affected by this your family your friends or whatever then I want you to know my heart goes out to you and uh, and I and I'm praying for you if if you want me to to uh, know of your situation just comment comment down below. I'd like to hear your story. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's, one thing to do is let's don't let our fears get carried away because, you know, our imagination can take us places that can just run wild and create more fear. So, and anybody knows me knows that, you know, I have a great imagination. So I can, I can see myself going down that road a lot. Uh, so it's, it's best to really kind of try to live in the moment and, uh, you know, make plans, obviously, uh, think about the worst case scenario, make plans. But when I, right now, the best thing to do to prevent our imagination from running wild is try to think of places that maybe, uh, bring you joy. Think of a trip you might want to take, things like that. So for me, it's always trying to get to Vegas, see what I can do. And one of the things I love to do when I go to Vegas is to hike. Yeah, I love the casinos and the nightlife and all the food and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, we plan out our trip. If we're going to stay six days, we spend three or four of those days during the day. We'll, we'll go different hikes. You know, there's a lot of great places around there like Red Rock Canyon and Lake Mead. And so... What I've done is I've got five books here that I want to go through. Um, and the first one is this book right here. It's called Hiking Made Easy. And what I like about it, look how thin this thing is. It's, it's something that you could put in your backpack. So, and it's, this is the best easy day hikes. So this is a great little book. Um, it covers you know, the Valley of Fire, which is about 50 miles from Vegas, but beautiful, beautiful place if you've never been there. Uh, it has uh, the Spring Mountains, Red Rock Canyon, which, you know, is only 20 minutes from Vegas, but it's like an oasis out there. Uh, not much water, that kind of oasis, but it's like its own little, little place. Uh, and then, so this is really, really cool little book. And what I like it, you can just stick it in your little backpack with your water and all that kind of stuff. And uh, so it's really cool. So if I were you, uh, check out that. All of these books that I'm going to show you, I'm going to put in the link in my comments so that you can click on those and, you know, go to Amazon and, and check them out. Now, the next book is Hiking Las Vegas. Now, this book it's obviously big 
but the detail in this book is amazing and he's covering red rock canyon mount charleston and lake mead so he's covering those places right here and he's got photos uh like here's turtlehead jr red cap he's got photos of this trip what to expect what to look for on your hike uh it's a very detailed it's one of the most detailed books i've got uh that i've checked out and it you know it covers it all so it's great what i would the way i would use this is you know while you know maybe on your flight there or at home figure out which trail i'm going to take and then go in this book and he tells you all about this is a really good book uh like i said it's probably not one you want to put in your backpack because it's a little bit heavy but use it to prepare i mean it's really an awesome book has the um, details about how much time it's going to take how many miles the hike is going to take uh, is it easy to follow you know on, on a scale of one to five so that's all broken down here so you know there's hikes that may last an hour and there's hikes that might last six hours for some people uh six hours is a long hike but so you just have to, and that that's why this is so good it gives you like here's ice ice box canyon which is in uh, red rock it's two and a half miles up and back you can gain 400 feet in elevation and um i've actually done this hike it's a nice little hike and uh so great book check this check this one out that's definitely one of the best five books that I would recommend. The next book is uh, Base Camp Las Vegas. This book is beautiful. Uh, what I like about this book is it has a lot of color pictures in it. Uh, she gives a really good, the author is Deborah Wall. She gives a really good description of the hikes uh some details but there's not the, one thing i would say there's not a lot of is is the maps she does have a general map of like if you're going to uh the great basin range there's some the maps are highlighted on the trail like on this but uh and again this is another this is another book uh that you probably don't want to put in your backpack but uh you can uh this this covers not just uh, Las Vegas, but it covers a bunch of different areas. It covers, uh, of course, the Red Rock, Mount Charleston, Lake Mead. It has the Nevada State Parks, like the Valley of Fire. It has the Great Basin. It has Ruby Mountains, Death Valley National Park. This has the Mojave National Preserve. It has hikes into Bryce Canyon, the Grand Staircase, and uh, Canyonlands Arches. And this is the reason I bought this book because it has everything that's close to Vegas within three hours, three or four hour drive pretty much. And uh, so really, really nice book. And I've used this a lot to prepare my hikes. Uh, another book here is uh, a foot in a field. It's the Las Vegas and Southern Nevada guide. So uh, it has a ton, a ton of hikes and they talk about each one in depth. Um, so here's Red Rock, Brownstone Canyons. Some of the hikes here are a little bit further, four to eight hours. Uh, the maps are really detailed. This really good book with the maps. And uh, so it has the Death Valley Titus Canyon. This is a really, really, really good book. It's broken down. This shows the area that it covers in the, in the book. So this will be a good one. This is not that heavy. You could put that in your backpack if you wanted to and then uh this was this is a book i bought not too long ago before my last trip to vegas 
uh, Utah's National Parks, the 50 best short hikes. And I bought that because right there you have Zion, you have Bryce, you have Capitol Reef. Um, all those canyons are right close by. Uh, Arch is a little bit farther away, but you can get there four hours or whatever. Uh, so you have Arches, Bryce, the Canyonlands, Capitol Reef, Zion, some great short hikes in those. And, and I like that because I don't do a lot of, um, you know, overnight hiking anymore. So mostly what I do is day hike. And there's some great advice in all these books, especially uh, this this book right here gives some great information. Uh, you know, what to take, what to pack, how much water you're going to need, all that kind of stuff. Um, of course, don't ever want to go anywhere in Vegas without plenty of water. But anyway, like I said, all five of those books are great. And, uh, you know, each serve its own purpose. I'll put the links to these books down low, uh, down in the description, and you can click on those and check them out. And hope everybody stays safe. And happy hiking once we can get out there. Okay, I want to close this out uh, by saying uh, you can go right now to my patreon.com page. It's patreon.com slash frontiersman adventures. And you can sign up and get one of these really cool t-shirts that I had made. I love these things. So this one is the first one. Uh, you can see that it's Sasquatch, Bigfoot walking. I love that design. And you can get that. Or here's another design of that. I like this one. Uh, it's got the Sasquatch, Bigfoot looking at the hiker. As he's walking away that probably happens all the time we don't know it so anyway and then <clears throat> we have this design which is uh, my wife likes this one the best with the big Sasquatch shadow overlooking in the moon whatever so you can get these two ways you can go to patreon sign up for three dollars a month or you can go to um you can just email me uh with paypal the shirts are going to be 24 dollars so you can uh, email that if you want to 24 dollars tell me which uh style you want and i'll put my email down there so anyway uh thank you so much for watching and i wish you guys the best mm -hmm.